So I got high last night. <laughs> I got high than a motherfucker last night. But I watched this movie and I sat through it as I got high. So you know what? I I, I just have to fucking live with it. I guess I'm not really making no sense because I think I am still a little bit more high because I kind of slept most of it off. I don't know. I can't tell. It's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's just start. Star Wars, the fucking holiday special that has nothing to do with fucking Christmas. They just decided to make it a fucking holiday special. Use stock footage from A New Hope. Or should I say the original Star Wars? I don't like to call it A New Hope anymore. I like to call it the original Star Wars, goddammit. Anyways, the plot is Chewie and Han Solo are in the Millennium Falcon getting chased by Imperial forces. He's trying to get Chewie home to his family for life days, some type of holiday for Wookiees, I guess. And most of the fucking movie takes place at Chewie's fucking place with his family. And all you hear is a bunch of Wookiees. No fucking subtitles. Nobody in the room to understand what the fuck's going on to translate for us. No, it's just a bunch of Wookiees. You know, I never thought I would hear today, hear me say for the day that I would ever want to hear the hear a Wookie shut the fuck, tell a Wookie to shut the fuck up. But God damn it, shut the fuck up! Holy crap! And then his wife puts on a fucking cooking show. And you got this cross dressing looking motherfucker on here, and it, he looks like a fucking robot. And it's, Oh, and there's a robot in here too, and he malfunctions. Kind of like the robot from Scooby Doo Moon Monster Madness. Well, he's not a robot in that movie, but he tried to be. Oh. Harrison Ford, why do you look like you give a fuck? Why in the hell do you look like you give a fuck in this movie? Why? <laughs> Why did you say yes? Why did any of the original cast say yes to this? Especially Harrison Ford. I am shocked. He said yes to this. He is the one guy with the most, with the biggest nuts that will ever say no to something. Why didn't you say no to this, man? Why in the hell did you not say no to this? You too, Carrie Fisher. You too, fucking Mark Hamill. You're fucking Joker for fuck's sakes. You couldn't even make this movie funny. I know you weren't trying, but you could at least did something. You could have given us the early stages of the Joker. That would have been fucking awesome. Okay? <laughs> that would have been great. This movie comes off the year before the original Star Wars. And so they follow it up in one year later with this? It is a miracle. You got to The Empire Strikes Back <laughs> after this movie. I am not joking. It is a miracle Star Wars survived this. Wow. Oh my god. My friend at work warned me too. He's like, Jay, don't watch this movie. Do not watch this movie. I gave him a proposition. Which one's worse? This one? Or The Phantom Menace? I made him think about that one for a minute. He said this one is worse than all three prequels and The Phantom Menace on its own. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> and he was absolutely 1,050% right. I never had such a hard time sitting through something before besides fucking Beyond Thunderdome. But I never felt so fucking stupid before in my life. This movie made me feel stupid on the inside. Have you ever watched one movie that when you're looking at it and it's so fucking bad, you just feel kind of stupid? Like, it's, it's taking all your, your, your senses away. You're just kind of becoming a... You know? Fuck. You know? I never would have thought I would, I would not enjoy the day where I heard Carrie Fisher sing. She sings great. 
But goddamn, the song she sings in this movie goes on for fucking ever. This movie is only 97 minutes. Why is this movie 97 fucking minutes? It's too fucking long for its own fucking good. Should have been only like 40 something minutes. Should have been half a fucking hour. An hour and a fucking half? I can't even open my eyes because I don't even want to. Ugh. I just don't want to. Ugh. I, do, I, I might have lost for words. I am really at a loss for words for this goddamn special. Nothing to do with fucking Christmas. Yet you release it towards Christmas and call it a holiday special and slap a fucking cartoon on there. That really still doesn't make no sense because everybody's watching everything on screens. And when the little son comes on, he's watching the cartoon. All the characters look fucked up even more than their live action versions do. Fucking Luke Skywalker in the live action version looks like he got spray painted with a brown marker. His animated version of himself looked like a fucking. Like he's on a fucking. Uh. Looks like that, that girl from, um. Uh. Base Motel. Her eyes are always like this. Who are you, Carrie White? Are you an animated version of Carrie White? Hi, I'm Luke Skywalker. Die, motherfucker. Die. I'm George Lucas, motherfucker. I'm making up George Lucas. Fuck you. Fuck you for making this bullshit. Fuck you for having me sit through it. Okay? And fuck you for fucking up your own continuity over and over and over again. Even with the fucking prequels. You fucked up your own continuity. Ugh. <laughs> so. So. Oh, I didn't even talk about fucking Han Solo in the uh, the animated version. He looks like the like a fuck. He looks like the camel from the cigarette. Uh, you remember the camel cigarette cigarettes? How the camel used to look? His face is so fucking long. All you gotta do is put a cigarette in his mouth. He'd be the fucking camel for the camel cigarettes. I ain't bullshitting, okay? Ugh. There's fucking softcore porn on this motherfucker, and I'm just sitting there like Chewie's dad is looking at fucking softcore porn. This is Star Wars. <laughs> this is Star Wars. <laughs> you just don't get no better than this. It doesn't get any worse. It doesn't get no fucking worse. I'm so fucking high right now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Fuck this movie. Jesus. Oh my god. I, I couldn't even watch this movie without a straight face. I had to put some fucking edibles in my mouth and boy did I get fucked up. But it was worth it because this movie's not worth sitting through. Fuck me. It's not worth sitting through, man. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck Star Wars Holiday Special. Okay. The, I'm pretty sure when The Force Awakens comes out, it's going to be better than this. We are, what, three days away from that right now? Hell fucking yes. That movie should be awesome. Then I can really see Harrison Ford and Chewie actually in a good movie for once because uh, this, this just won't do. This just will not fucking do. I'm sorry, you guys. This movie fucking blows worse than the prequels. And that's hard to say. Everybody hates the prequels. I like the prequels. But I do admit they have their faults. This movie makes the prequels. Makes the prequels. Episodes 1 and 2. Not necessarily 3. 3 is the best one. Episodes 1 and 2 of the prequels. Looks like the Empire Strikes Back times 4. I will gladly sit through those two movies four fucking times in a row then watch this bullshit. And this has the original cast. It has the original fucking cast. Samuel Jackson and Ewan McGregor and Natalie Portman. Yay. The fuck. The fuck. Fuck this movie. F plus, fuck you, fuck this, suck my cock, blow chunks, sniff some coke in your ass. Well, that don't make no fucking sense. <laughs> I told you I'm fucked up. <laughs>
And so is this goddamn movie. Let me know what you guys think about this fucking thing down below. I don't even deserve to call this movie a film. Fuck that. Let me know what you guys think about this bullshit. Clickety clack clack clack, bitches. I am out. Merry motherfucking Christmas. Hope you guys have a safe new year as well. I will see you bitches later.